Right now we'll talk about probably the most important feature on all amplifiers and it's the mode. You have bridge mode, stereo mode, and parallel mode. Let's start with stereo mode. The switch is in the middle which is stereo mode. So we'll plug in two inputs and right now in stereo mode the amplifier acts as a stereo amplifier like two separate amplifiers channel 1 and channel 2 so you can use them as two separate amplifiers so whatever inputs coming into channel 1 is going out on speaker number 1 any input coming on channel 2 is coming out of speaker output number 2 the stereo mode is the most used mode I would say for most PA setups so now let's talk about the parallel mode so what that means if you switch the dip switch to parallel you only need to put an input in channel 1 it parallels the inputs so whatever you have coming in 1 is automatically switched and going to number 2 so the same input is going to a separate channel 1 output and a separate channel 2 output so all parallel does is parallel these two inputs so you only need one connector we use parallel a lot when we have the same signal is going to go to both channels input channels so instead of using up a separate output going to this input we just use the one input and we parallel the input and now this signal goes to both inputs So now let's talk about the bridge mode. What bridge mode does when you flip this switch, it basically takes both outputs, makes this stereo amp one big mono amp. So basically, take one output, put it in channel one input, and now you got to be careful about the speaker connections. If you see here, it says bridge. So if you're using a banana connector, you would no longer use the negative poles. You would plug the banana connector right there. Let's get a better look at that. So you'd get a. So you would plug it where it says plus and plus. And that's your output. In bridge mode is where you would get the most power. The front of this amplifier stated that it was a 1200 watt amp. If you look at the specifications, I'm sure you're going to find when you go to bridge mode on the Samson SX 1200, you get about 900 watts of power. So be careful of the speaker wattage because you don't want to blow up speakers. So I'm going to remove the banana connector and show you how to hook up the Nutric connector in the bridge mode. In regular stereo mode, 
you would use a two pole connector and you would go to this diagram and use one plus and one minus but you see in bridge mode they want you to put the two wires on one plus and two plus in order to do that you need a four pin four pole connector this is a Nutric four pole it's a little bit bigger it's got four poles so on this connector you would look at the diagram and you would use one plus and two plus on on this connector and then plug it in so if we look over here over here SX1200 is the model number at 8 ohms you'll get 300 watts a channel at 4 ohms you'll get 450 watts a channel so it makes sense that if you put it in bridge mode you'll get double the 450 and get about 900 watts